Okay. There's a Black Hornet Serrator by Magnus. Um, the other day while I was hunting, I did this with one of them. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Um, get down here. There's my insert. There's my broadhead. You can see right down in here the edge of the blade main blade. This is a red oak. Real hard tree. As you can see here, we cut this block out. You can see it's already cracked. The wood's cracked here and here where the main blades were. But we're going to get this thing out and see if that blade's messed up or if that blade's in great shape. Um, like I said, it's already cracked right here. It shouldn't be too hard to do. I'm hoping that I can get the bandsaw in there a little bit and uh, got a real fine tooth blade on here so I'm not sure how well it's going to do with this oak but I'm going to look and see if I can't somewhat guesstimate Leave the black. Do a little bit of cutting. I may end up just speeding this up so that uh, you don't have to watch it. All of it. Let's see what we can come up with here.
should be able to, I don't know, it may still be stuck with that bleeder blade. Ooh, it is. Let me dig out a little bit more and I should be able to get it. Look at that. See, I don't see anything. I have to get my glasses out to be sure. Now, if you're a Damn, it's right there, right there is still short. If you're a budget <laughs> hunter and you want to make sure that you get the most out of your broadheads, you could resharpen this and use it. I don't see it. I'll spin test it. I've got to take this off and get another arrow to spin test it. Um, let me see. I think I got one over here. Hold on just a second. Let me put this down right here. I'll be right back with an arrow right here. Sunk that sucker all the way up in a red oak. Really, really hard wood if you don't know what a red oak is. And dug it out, and I could probably still use it if I wanted to. Get some of this wood out of these. But if you're safety conscious and you don't want to reuse this, you could send this right back to Magnus and they'll send you a brand new one. Although I don't really see anything wrong with it at all. Uh, I would assume that it would have wadded up in there or uh, bent something, but it just slammed in there. Dug it out and she's none the worse for wear. I may just take this one and <laughs> I may just place this on here. back like it was and just leave it like that and put it on my little my little wall I think that's pretty neat but anyway um see if you can see really hard to see where it's split right here but you can see that sucker buried all the way up in there but for those of y'all looking for a durable broadhead, Magnus makes some heck of durable broadheads. Like I said, this is the Black Hornet Serrazer. That's what I use. They also make a smooth bladed version that doesn't have the serrations. Um, 
these are chisel tip serrations, I think is what they call them. They're not like your typical uh, serrated edges, uh, and they're legal in, I believe it's all 50 states. Give them a try, call them up, uh, buy you a bunch of them, or three of them, whatever you want to do to try them out, but I guarantee you once you try these, you probably won't shoot any other broadheads. Now, let's see if we can go after that buck that, this thing, <laughs> that I was shooting this at the other day. Hopefully I can get on him again. I don't believe he got spooked. I think he didn't know I was there. He just, when it hit the tree, the loud noise from the tree is what made him run off. But we'll see if we can get him and get him on video for y'all. Again, Black Hornets of Razors. These broadheads are wicked bad.